Nin explains the rules of Slam Ball. The object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. Slam Ball is a variation of the game of basketball that is played with trampolines, or spring beds, built into the floor. Slam Ball is played with two teams of eight players, with four players on the court at any one time. Teams usually consist of one stopper, who is responsible for guarding their own net, a handler who moves the ball up the court, and two gunners who are the high flyers who score the points. Once someone has won possession of the ball, they have up to 20 seconds, or 15 seconds in some games, to shoot the ball towards the opponent's basket. Failure to shoot the ball within this time results in a shot clock violation, and the other team is awarded possession of the ball. The baskets are 10 feet above the ground, on a court that's generally about 97 feet long by 57 feet wide, with trampolines built into the floor. To move the ball up the court, you can either pass the ball to a teammate, or dribble the ball, where you bounce the ball up and down repeatedly whilst in motion. To score points, a player must shoot the ball into the opponent's basket. You get two points for any shot scored within this arc. If a player scores from a shot outside the arc, this scores three points. And if you dunk the ball, where you forcibly put the ball into the net like so, this also scores three points. With the addition of the trampolines, this makes dunking a lot easier, and there are many gravity-defying scoring plays. The opposing team will try and take the ball off you by either blocking shots, rebounding missed shots, or by stealing the ball away from an opposing player so that they can score themselves. The game is played in four five-minute quarters for a total playing time of 20 minutes. The high score at the end of time wins. There are no ties in slam ball, so if the scores are tied at the end of regulation, overtime periods will be played to determine the winner. If you understand basketball, slam ball is an easy game to grasp, but there's a few other things that you'll need to know before playing or watching slam ball. For example, substitution. Unlike basketball, there are unlimited substitutions that can be made at any time, on the fly, at the designated substitution area. Reset. Once you enter the trampoline area with the ball, you cannot leave and then carry on dribbling. One way to get around this is to use the barriers to pass the ball to yourself, which is perfectly legal in slam ball, but illegal in basketball. This is known as a reset. Three in the island. Very similar to basketball, a player cannot stay in the islands, which is this section between the trampolines, for more than three seconds, with or without the ball. Stay more than three seconds, and the ball is awarded to the other team. Defending. A defender may use the spring bed directly below the basket to try and stop the ball from going in. He's allowed to make contact with the arm or hand, so long as he's trying to get the ball. Any contact with the opponent's torso results in a foul. Popcorn. This is where a player intentionally disrupts the bounce of another player on the spring beds. Doing so results in a foul. Foul. In slam ball, contact is allowed, but take it too far and fouls will be awarded against you. Illegal body contact that forcibly prevents a player from scoring results in a foul. And once a player commits three personal fouls, he is fouled out and can no longer participate in the game. Face off. There are no free throws in slam ball, so if you commit a foul whilst a player is shooting, a face-off will be given. This is a one-on-one -on -one contest between you and their stopper only, and you get given the chance to try and score one-on-one. -on -one. There are many other rules not discussed here, so be sure to watch a few games to learn more. And if you're still not sure, it might be worthwhile checking out my Rules of Basketball video to get a solid grounding of the rules. But if you have found this video at all helpful, please like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Follow me on Twitter also and if you're also on Reddit, please post this video and discuss it there. But in the meantime, enjoy Slam Ball. Oh yeah!